You guys, uh, we were dealing with you for a yeah. second while you were unzipping your thing, mm-hmm. and then we'll get back so, to you calling the problem. So, come back at the place with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm nervous about the guns. You're nervous about the guns. I'm gonna get one of the guns. I'm gonna get one of the guns. I'm gonna get one of the guns. So, I'm gonna get one of the guns. 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 You've had incidents with stairs. Light? I'll turn on the light. Uh, a nice bathroom is very clean. As you can see, tub, toilet, and sink. Uh, Look at you, probably um, a cabinet under the sink <laughs> with normal stuff, medicine cabinet. It's got like typical, you know, aspirin and toothbrush and razor and all that shit. Um, there's nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> <laughs> it has tiles that run up to That's about so this high, maybe all along the walls and tile floor. It's a nice little bathroom. I'm call you Very up, comfortable. You in the Colin. He's going to jump to you. So you're going to search the bathroom for a few seconds. Yeah. Colin, you, you come up to the kitchen. It's empty. It's dark. Nobody turned a light on in there or anything. Uh, it's dark in the dining room. Where, wait, where do you want to go? You hear talking. I guess I'm just going to head back to the main hall. Okay. Uh, you go through the dining room and the, and the living room, and you spot this guy is just breaking open a gun. He's got... He's what reaching it. It's a j- shotgun is from hell. <laughs> <laughs> he's pulling out a couple of big-ass shells and putting them in I'm place. Look at that. I like shotguns. <laughs> and, he, and he closes it up with a cloud clack. Uh, that is bigger... You've got just a typical, regular 12-gauge shotgun. You can buy in a hardware store. It's not terribly expensive. This thing has got barrels that are massive. <laughs> and he's now, like, sighting on it. He's, like, kind of nodding, like... And then probably tucks it under his arm, so he's holding it. I don't know if you guys have ever seen how people technically walk with shotguns. They tuck it under the pocket. arm so that they can kind of keep. Oh, and he grabs some extra shells out of the shot out of this rifle case that he just left lying on the floor, and he stuffs them in his pocket. And now he looks like very satisfied. You see, there's two. You're obviously there. Virgil is just like. <laughs> like I gotta give you one of them. It's kind of fa- the face yeah. that he makes. So I, the four of you are together. At the same time I'm like nagging you. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you're still nagging him. I'm just like, what are you doing with that? That's you such a big that. shotgun. You have holes in the walls. So she is obviously <laughs> berating him for having a giant shotgun. <laughs> While um, you can make a psychology check if you want to see if you can tell that she's a little jealous because that's a hell of a gun. Yeah, yeah. I'll try it. Why not? I'm gonna. I'll, I'll, I get. Ver- you, I get. Go ahead, make it. Oh, oh yeah, check things you. Okay. Oh, so you don't get that, but that's okay. But you no, are, okay. you're like... Uh, but only these. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I'm still worried about, like, you really don't need that here. Yeah, that'll shoot you to schools. Okay. The four of you are in the foyer. What do you want to do? When I do this, it's including me as the NPC. Uh, I'm going to go upstairs. So you head upstairs. So I'm here in Anything? Upstairs. I'm kind of bored. I might as well look around. It is pretty boring. Where do you want to go? Well, I'll put the... Everybody else is gone upstairs. Everything. Yeah, I, I assume you already did that. You kind of flipped through it. Yeah. yeah. I, like I don't know these people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bunch of, it's a few, some names and shit, yeah. that's all. You might come up later, who knows. Right. Where do you want to go? Um, where's the next room? Living room? There's a living room here. Living the lights room. are off in there. Um, like, there's a light switch. Okay. It's actually got, you turn it and it off and turns on. on the light. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. There was also those ones with two buttons. Have you ever seen those? Yeah, yeah. I have. Oh, Those yeah, are, oh, yeah. in this case, it's a, <laughs> yeah, I've seen this. I don't remember where. I hate that. I don't remember where. But there's also one that actually sticks out from the wall, and then it, you click it, and it'll turn on. You click it, and it turns on. Uh, looks like there is a small bookshelf. There's some books on it. Okay. Fireplace. Okay, so you're going to examine the bookshelf. Yeah, I saw a bookshelf on the thing. He um, headed upstairs, and she headed upstairs. Upstairs. You're going to head upstairs. Power times five from each of you, please. Libraries. You don't need it, just I'm to kind of get a gist of what's here. I'll just give it to you in a minute once you look nope. through it. Yes? A no? Nope. And a yes for, for Bricker? You get that same heavy feeling, like something's going to happen. You know, like, it's coming. You know, you, but, but the anticipation of it more than the actual, the actual event. Are they up there now? Yes. Um, you guys are in the, the larger bedroom down here. And Bricker's at the top of the steps. Um, you're in the so kitchen bathroom, bathroom still. and you've reached the top of the steps as well. You see them in a, a larger bedroom. Looks like it's been set up as a den. They're talking quietly. Uh, you see him in the bathroom to your right. There is a room to the left with an open door that appears to have some like boxes and crates, probably storage or something. Uh, you see this too, by the way. And uh, straight ahead and, on, and to your right is a bedroom with the lights on. Uh, actually, all the lights are on except for that room to your left. <laughs> Go the left. Okay. You need to turn the light on in there? Yep. Click. Uh, there are steps, I believe, or a doorway. Yeah, there's some steps. Probably leads up to that attic. 
Um, otherwise, crates. Uh, where's the sign? There we go. Uh, it looks like you turn to storage. There's small. It's a real small room. There are a few extra dining room chairs, some rugs, a few crates of odds and ends. Uh, steps that go up to to the attic that you see in there. What were you gonna do as you reach the landing? I guess go talk to them and find out what they. Okay, want. you head into the larger bedroom. There you go. Go for it. You'll be done momentarily, and you came up the steps too, didn't you? Then take it. What? Okay, well, I'm in the living room with the books, right? A living room, that's right. You're in the living room. Um, living room with the books appears to be history, fiction, chemistry, <laughs> photography, physics, drugs, and pharmaceuticals. A uh, few about dreams, um, what your dreams mean, stuff like that. Um, the middle room. Chemistry, uh, histories, fiction, yeah. chemistry, photography, physics, drugs, and pharmaceuticals, and dreams. Um, I'll pick up the one dreams. <laughs> there's, a, there's three or four. Uh, okay. Yeah, you start kind of looking through it. Yeah, it, it's it's uh, how to tell what your dreams mean, uh, what you might be thinking about. There's some uh, notes about Freud. Mm. It's all about your mom. So, if, you know, you know what Freud is. Everything is Oedipal and Freud. I wonder if he's down what he I don't know what you need. You said they're like descriptions of like what things would mean. Mm, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I want to kind of just try to match up. Oh, um, with the things that he saw in his dreams. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That'll take you a couple minutes. You are done in the bathroom. Yeah. Nothing. I mean, just typical shit. And there's nothing weird or anything. It's kind of ordinary. This whole thing is starting to seem like kind of a ridiculous fantasy to you. I think you're the only one that came on the stairs who wasn't all like bugged out when they started walking up, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. okay, I'm going to go back in the main room now that there's not just... Well, everyone still has a gun in there. It's just, just her. Or him. Just just uh, Sanderson. But I, do you still have your gun in here? I think yes. everybody has okay. a gun. Absolutely. Well, you did, but you don't see where... She must have put hers away. Okay. She's holding so some kind of piece of paper still. now. And I'll, I'm I'll, looking at the books. Oh, you went to look at the books? Okay. Uh, what did you do with the paper? Where is the paper? Uh, well, you handed it to him to read. What did you do? Yeah. You handed it back. What are you doing with it? I have it. Is it just tucked away? Well, I have my notebook. Oh, okay. So it's in there. Okay, she has a notebook in her hand, and now she's looking at, uh, at the books that are on, on the shelves. Uh, Ashton, it looks like they are uh, uh, dreaming, other topics, uh, some of the ones that I told about her about, you know, fictions, histories, uh, photography. Um, it, uh, you've read them all. You know, uh, I know these books. Uh, that kind of thing. You don't find anything that relates to some kind of tentacle face thing. Yes. Um, the, 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 the train might represent uh, a need for change, is what you're kind of getting. Okay. Um, the fact that it's not going anywhere indicates a frustration, is what you get. That there's, he's having frustration with like his life has become like sedimentary and it's just not going anywhere. You know, that's what oh, you're kind of working on. Like, I drop it on all fours, being feral. We're not finding anything about that. That's no. really out there, apparently. There's no feral anything? No. no. Okay. Um, swamp. There was a bunch of swamp. Uh, the swamp thing swamp. might indicate, swamp. like, swamp. dissatisfaction or potential uh, sexual deviancy. Oh, my. Oh, Obvious <laughs> sexual deviancy. <laughs> <laughs> I like to do it with stinky stuff. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, Joel went in with these two. Yeah. Again, you only see one one gun, Both and right yes. now your gun is down by your side because you're still feeling a little nerve, but you don't see any threats. Anyway. Um, oh gosh. Oh, it was an accident. Colin, I forgot. You went upstairs, didn't you? Yeah. Where'd you go? I was heading to the room to see what they had found. Right. Okay. So the four of you were in the room. Where were you going? Uh, I'm not like that. You went to the door. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's not a door. It's just steps that go up in this little room. Okay. It's well, dark up there. There is some dim light yeah, coming in because yeah, yeah. it's like a monitor. Like, so what you got is you got your ceiling. It comes in. You can look in there, and then there's windows all around a secondary ceiling, and that's the light that's coming into the room. So it's dim, and this attic is like empty. It's like totally empty. Um, he obviously doesn't have much stuff, so he doesn't store anything up here. Mm-hmm. Um. Otherwise, it's just a big, empty, dusty room that's probably just been ignored for years. That's what you find. What are you four doing in the larger bedroom? I think I'm going to ask if anybody's found anything, anything new in here. Okay. There you go. Uh, well, I found this new... No. Okay. 
Yeah, you're not finding anything else of any interest. I went and looked down the basement and didn't find anything. Go ahead. Question. Um, when I was in the kitchen, you said that in the sink there was a teapot, like mm-hmm. it was going to be cleaned. Yeah, you know how you'll use something, like a teapot, and, and like then you put it in the sink, and then you just fill it with water, like, ah, okay. Okay, so That's kind of the impression use. that you got there. Okay. And you found a tea bag in the trash, along with that little bottle. I want to, right. while he's reading, mm-hmm. I want to look to see if there's any cups just um, sitting around. Not in this room. Okay. But you've only been in this room upstairs. Yeah. You haven't looked in the bathroom or that little room or the bedroom. And right now all the lights are on the stairs. Can I go to the bedroom? Yeah. Uh, yep, teacup. Next to the bed. Uh, next to a clock. Give me a forensics check. Oh, shit, let's go. Is that mm, you going? might be disappointed, but go ahead and make it. <laughs> you might be disappointed with what I'm going to say. Nothing. Uh, yeah. You made it? Okay, check it off. Um, the clock is, is a one that you would wind up, and it's not running right now. So obviously it has gone <coughs> down, which means you're looking probably at least 48 hours since it's been wound up. Yeah, she gets verification of that. Because yeah. you know these things are probably run at least 24 hours. Yeah. Um, so it's been over that. Well, no, Definitely over that. that. Yeah. Um, so mm, the what do you want to do in that bedroom? You found the cup. There's the cup. Um, it's got st- stains in it, like there's tea in it. So it, okay. Um, I'm wanting to. Is there a closet in the room? Uh, I don't know. There it is. Okay. Uh, there's a closet. It's just got typical clothes. Nothing of real interest in there. Anything up at the top? Is there like a shelf? There's a shelf, but there's just a couple hat boxes with a couple of like middle of the road hats, door types. Okay. Um. I guess at this point I'm trying to see if there's anybody in the house then. Yeah, it feels feel like there's somebody in this room. Oh, oh, oh the the bed. You know how, <laughs> that's a good idea. You know how when you walk into a, a room or a house and you kind of like, kind of know somebody's just there, there's just like a weird feeling? That's totally what you're getting in this room. My guy would know pretty well too, just from war stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, FBI. And then when you open the closet door, you were like, ready. Yeah. And you're like, oh. And you look around the room and then you're like, and that's when you go under the bed and you're like, and nothing's under there. Oh. Nothing's under there. Nick is spot hidden. Oh, well, here we go. Mm-hmm. The case hello. That's why I put a lot of spot hidden. Did you really? I always know. That can yep. be a mistake in this game. Check it off. Okay. Having a lot of spot hidden. Sometimes you don't want to see. Um, no, I want to you look see under the bed. bed. Okay, nothing's under the bed. Okay. What the hell? Um, sometimes people hide things under the mattress. <laughs> you, you check the bed out. It's weird. Nothing under the mattress. Okay. But you know, this is weird. There's like an indentation in the bed mm. on the same side with the clock. Hey. Almost like somebody's laying in the bed. Tempted. And when you put your hand down <laughs> on it and you kind of feel, it's warm. Uh, uh, like someone has just gotten up from the bed. You're fucking punches. No, no, no. That's totally what I'm it scared. Is. My character's not. <laughs> your character's just like, this is unusual. <laughs> is this the smaller bedroom? This is the big, yeah, this is the smaller bedroom. Okay. You guys are still in the big bedroom, but yeah, you can you can leave. She, he just left the room, and you heard a door open somewhere, and you see her movement. Uh, you three are upstairs. You're I'm in the, you're in the living room. You're upstairs, too. You're in the attic. Nothing yeah. in the attic. You, you're coming down from yeah. the attic. There ain't nothing up there. Um, yes. I walk out to him, because everybody's kind of pretty much near each other, right? They're all in the smaller bedroom, but actually, I know you're starting to leave the smaller bedroom. What did you two guys, did you guys want to follow her? I guess so. Okay. Yeah. So they're kind of all coming out of the smaller bedroom like they're going to look elsewhere. Did you relate that you checked the bathroom out and there's nothing in there? At some point you could have if you want to just throw it out there. Uh, yeah. Well, okay. So when you talk to the two of them, it's like there's nothing in the bathroom. I looked in there. And you see him coming out from the sewing room or the storage or whatever it is. So all five of you are kind of in that hall up there right now. Um, go ahead. What do you want? Okay. So. I'll show you. Talk to the Mattress is warm. There's an indentation. Somebody's in the house. How would they have gotten past us? That's the wrong accent. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, that, that was more in your time. Just yeah. go for Southern. Can you be Southern? Well, I don't want to do a white trash Southern. All right. God. But, <laughs> no. Even if you hit white trash southern, yeah. at least it's southern. Yeah. It's not Angerton. So. Not Angerton. 
Um, <laughs> yes, whatever you ask. How would they? How how would you have not seen him, or whatever you say? Uh, how would they have not seen? I'll get it in a minute. That's uh, okay. How would we have not seen them? There you go. They're hiding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you say they're hiding, and then you think about it, and it's like there's five of you up here, and you've all just come out of separate rooms. Uh, the bathroom's the only room that somebody hasn't just literally come out of. Just <laughs> over. You look at it. <laughs> well, there's a closet in the room we just left. Is there? Yeah, okay. Is so it? I want to go check okay. that. Okay. You creep over to the closet. Are you gonna do like this? Oh, like yeah. And I'm right behind you her. Fling so the door open. Or how yeah, do you want to do it? Yeah, find she flings the door. You have the. You don't have a gun in your hand. No. You fling the door open. You've got a gun I ready. Know. It's a closet. It's like literally completely empty. There's like maybe one box on the floor. <laughs> There's one box on the floor. <laughs> so she looks in it, and it looks like fictions. <laughs> uh, no, it's filled with. Uh, it's got magazines. Various mag- photography magazines, Weird Tales, oh, uh, <laughs> history magazines. That's all that's in this closet. Is, 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 that's it. Okay. All right. Oh. So, <laughs> I guess we need to check the bathroom again. So I'm going to open up that door and peek in. It was never closed, was it? I don't think. Be- you wouldn't have closed the bathroom door. door. I mean, it's like a yeah, yeah, house. Uh, you guys in, peek in. in. The only place that someone could be hiding is if they literally crammed themselves underneath the sink. And I mean, it would be ungodly tight. Oh, maybe it's a <laughs> <laughs> oh, or a child. It's a child. I go no, it would be super tight. But you could walk over and throw the cabin doors open and look. There's nothing under there. I mean, you know, some extra yeah. toilet paper and stuff like that. You want to go where? Okay. You still get that feeling like somebody's here. I want to turn Uh, You do so. Our character's bored. She wants to know where everybody else is. Okay, you going upstairs? Yeah. Excellent. Virgil follows you. Okay. Um, she, Miss Susanna comes up to the landing. Clock, 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 clock. There's a lot of lights on right now. The only light that's off is in the is in a bedroom straight ahead and to your right. Okay. And she's standing in the doorway. Uh, you don't see anything in there, Ashton. Yeah. Oh, do I, do I get that? Do I get that feeling? I mean, it's not super dark, but it's dim. The, the, well, the feeling light's is, coming from the hallway. Do I get that feeling? Oh yeah, give me a power touch light. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm glad power, you remembered. Power, power. That's your oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. it's the same as your light. Yes. Yes. You get that weird something's gonna happen feeling. What's going on? There's a bit of weirdness going on right now. Are you in here? Yeah, I don't know. Everybody's upstairs. Okay, I'm everybody. Everybody's close enough they can see each other and actually talk to each other if you guys want to. Yeah. I'll turn the light back on. Okay, you turn the light back on. I don't feel right. No. Oh, wait, I gotta check for Virgil. He might actually have uh, noticed this weird I'm just, I'm just like, like oh, I'm just to put a point in something. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Something right here, Miss Susanna. Yeah, I don't feel right. I, I don't feel mm. right. <laughs> <laughs> That's Virgil. He's obviously mm. un- not happy with how he feels. Come I'm, I'm, I'm uneasy. I'm reading. Uneasy. Looking around. Reading. 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 Oh, okay. What goes in the notes? Okay. What goes in the notes? Sorry. No, Andy. Bad. <laughs> So we want to make sure that this, uh, whatever we're looking for, is not getting out of here. I'm assuming it's a person. Anybody found anything interesting? Now remember, these two just came up the steps. They have no idea what you guys have found at all upstairs. I'm going to speak up. There was a note. Links up pretty well with the story, right? He had something to help him drink, have li- had vivid dreams. What he was describing was a vivid dream that he couldn't wake up from. Perhaps this is a way to return to the dreamland you've always talked about. Do you think I'm going to this head. stuff is, wherever it is, it what is it? how do you know? I would have medicine, Gives you a look. That'd be so quaintly called. This is suspicious. <laughs> well, Agent Sanderson, what do you think? Why, how do you know it ain't opium? Are you going to... Oh, you know, you can't do Virgil. Overlooked again. 
<laughs> Flight of the Black Man in 1927. I can, I can relate there. <laughs> okay, you tell him what he, what yeah. he said. Okay. I hate to be presumptuous, but maybe we could all say what we found in this house. And it'll help everyone. Either that or maybe we would go home. It feels like you've all been fat enough here. So that's what mm. Yeah, Virgil just gives a lot I as more. well want to know why you don't think it's open. I'll let out personally. I found a key under the bat map, just like Virgil said. Or just like he said, I guess I don't know his name. Yeah, no, he didn't just, like he, name. just like he said. Just like that Negro fellow, who's just as good as we white people said. So, Sanderson. Oh, I tried this little, this little bitch saw me in the trash. Saw me digging in the trash. Like, you ever see what I got? I saw you sniff it, but I didn't. Yeah. I saw you sniff it. No, 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 no. no. He saw he saw you pull a little vial out of the trash and sniff it and then tuck it away. Okay. He did see that because I did mention it to him. Ah, I should have snapped his neck. He saw me. Would you stop? (laughs) What's the point of keeping that secret? That's my. That's the only thing. I'm not. Okay. (laughs) Maybe you are from him. Metal is full. Cool. All that around was a whole lot of nothing. Nobody watches me sniff things. Attic's empty. Room's empty. How about the basement? He looks at. Well, no, he doesn't know. Vir- he doesn't know he went to the basement. He's just Is looking around. Is there a basement? Around. Do we know there's a basement? Uh, Virgil's just making an assumption. It's a New England house. They almost all have basements. No, I mean I told some of them earlier when I came up that I checked the basement. I don't think yet you mentioned it in the foyer. They're in the foyer. Oh no, it took her a while. Yeah. Also, to have a better way to address you. What's your name, sir? I'm Virgil Thomas. You can call me Virgil. Nice to make your point. Depending on where you're from, I suppose you call me boy. I call everybody boy. <laughs> <laughs> if it's everybody, I have no, I have no difficulty. If it's just me, I might. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, Miss Mary. I apologize. I did not mean to get my roll up, but something will feel right up here. Really well, maybe I can check his address book for Francis. Oh. Are we all just standing in the hallway? Everybody's upstairs in the hall, yes. Okay, well, I'm going to go to, like, this room right here, so it's the nearest, I think. Yeah, that looks like it's set up as, like, a study. Okay. Um... There's comfortable chairs, rack pipes, cigar box, sideboard. Uh, nobody's looked like in the sideboard yet, actually. You know what? I'm speaking. Uh, sideboard has a lot of liquor, some Canadian whiskey, some li- some gin. Okay. Um, you know, typical stuff you find during Prohibition. Uh, more books uh, resemble the books that you found downstairs. There's a few more up here. Uh, they don't. They're all like published books and stuff. They don't appear to be of any of any like. Nothing unusual. Very unusual. Virgil has followed you into the room, by the way. I thought I was speaking. Oh. Okay. So Give me an idea check. Can I have an idea check? No, she's the only one potentially who could have it. No, get out of here. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> Um. Where the monsters are. The only thing that struck you is super unusual and weird, aside from the fact that it feels like somebody's in the master, the main bedroom, is still that warm spot on the bed. Nobody's in the attic. Yep. Nobody's yeah, spread the head. You <laughs> looked in the freaking bathroom. Nobody's there. Nobody's in this house. There's no way that people could have been walking around without somebody noticing. It just stands out as weird and unusual. What is it, Mrs. Because <laughs> you didn't share I should make, you make a spot hidden. You, you need to make a spot though. hidden. She's in, you're in the next room, though. Uh, She's out on the lane and you went into that bedroom. I thought I was just peeking in. You have super senses. You're like, I see this face. All right, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. You, you peeked in. I did say I was just That's okay. In. Oh, I, I didn't hear that. Okay, so you kind of peeked in and then you look yeah. over and Sanders is like, looks got this face. perplexed. Face. Like, God. Not like that. Jesus Christ. He's really strange. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he was swinging out. He looked like he was seizing first. He had a little stroke. A little tiny stroke. <laughs> Pooped his pants just a tiny bit. <laughs> He's getting there. He's getting old. Why you're, you're like, what? <laughs> anyway, she asked you that. What? I'm going. Well, some men just don't seem right. I got, I got a weird feeling. There's no way we could have missed this fella. What fella are you talking about? Uh, whoever's, whoever's in this note that they're talking about. Uh, well, he ain't here, obviously. 
Ain't nobody home. Sanders. I didn't see nobody. So you said it's somebody. Sanderson. Sanderson. <laughs> you don't give me a big bang boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I take along with Sanders all the time. I do that all the time. You're just a fed. You're not important enough you to learn your whole name. Somebody just got up from that bed in the other room. Yeah. I'm going to go look in there. Go ahead and do that. I'm just going to like, this guy got me. Virgil just shakes his head. I'm already in the bedroom. (laughs) (laughs) You say you're going to do it, and he just walks in the bedroom. (laughs) Giant gun in hand. Uh, Got to walk sideways through the doorway? No, it's not. It's just left you there. What are you guys doing? You already walked in the bedroom. What are you doing there, um, Ben? Joel? Ben Joel? I, I want to look around because I've never been in this room before. Okay. Uh, give me a spot hidden, unless you like want to search it like really carefully. Well, now just... You know what I mean? If your character's going to search everything, you don't have to make the spot hidden. You're going to find the thing. I kind of do, actually. I know that's suspicious. Okay. So you look in the closet. You start looking around. You're looking around, too. Are you looking around very intricately yeah, or just casually? Just like... I'm mainly looking at the stand and... You see the long spot. Something about the bed. Okay, in the bed. Um, make me a spot hidden. You're going to find it out because you're just examining the entire room. Nothing in the trash can. Yes. Um, it's about the same time when you guys see that there's like an indentation on the bed. And when you reach down to kind of touch it, like, is this just an old mattress? What the fuck? It's warm. Uh, do me a spot hidden. Oh, shit, here we go, boys. Well, you're just kind of watching them, what they're doing. Like, I, I, I know what I'm doing. You what? Just hit the spot. With oh, like yep. the base, you made it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you see when they they check it, and both of them look rather alarmed. Uh, when they they're like, and then they put their hand down in that little indentation. Don't they're like, the bed stays warm. <laughs> and you realize it's been like five or ten minutes. If it's still warm, that doesn't make any sense. Correct. Something's like that right now. I'm like, what? <laughs> and why can I not touch it? I'm you don't feel there. anything except for there's warmth there. I'm in there. Yeah, yeah. Because I hear them like. They're messing with the bed and they're touching it and keep. Uh, is. I want to say that, like, because my guy kind of knows about drugs, this LSD a thing, and, like. Oh, yeah. Because, like, the side effects of LSD is, like, are you tripping? Are you doing, like, some sort of, like, thing? So maybe I'm like, this is some sort of LSD or something. The only way it could be is if you all somehow took it. Before you came in the room, these two obviously have had the same reaction as you do to a warm bed, because that was your spot hidden to be like, okay, the bed's still warm. Ten minutes later, that's impossible. There's no way that that could have been given to all of you. LSD is not like it's not like a. You, I'm attempting to flip. If somebody, so. if it was somehow airborne, yeah. there would have to be some kind of way to <laughs> make it airborne. Does that make sense? And there's no way to make something airborne except that it would be noisy, like spraying it around a room. Or maybe so, even that what, what this guy took was LSD and it's such a weird... How it, it couldn't affect you. Know. You, can't, you can't absorb LSD through the skin, at least not in, in a way that would cause you to start hallucinating. Not enough. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm assuming. I'm pretty certain. Nope. What? I was making this one and to see if I noticed the alarm clock not moving. Ah, okay. Yeah, there's no ticking. Uh, you do notice they're all messing around with the bed. And you guys notice this as well. I mean, I'm going to go see what they're looking at with the bed. <laughs> yeah, find the warm spot. It's very strange. I want to go look at the edge. And that makes you un- 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 uh, you're heading down there. It makes you uncomfortable because the only way this could be warm is if somebody literally like a minute ago got up. Honestly. <laughs> you can. It, yeah. It's just a warm it. spot on your ass. The pillow? <laughs> you're sitting on there's yeah. an in the pillow as well. I'm freaked out a little bit. I get up. I don't blame you. I throw the pillow. What are you looking for in the address book? Francis. Francis who? <laughs> I don't know. Beat it. Okay, it'll take you a little longer, but you do find a Francis Harris listed. Uh, he apparently is in apartment, 121 South Main Street, apartment B, Providence, Rhode Island. Okay. I want to move the pillow. Is there anything I can do Um, what do you mean? Is you the you pick gone? up the in pillow. Yeah. Is the um, well, that's kind of still there. <laughs> what? Did I just rip this guy's you head off? You could lock it if you want, or something to like put it back to a normal pillow. But it's just it's a it's a it's a downfilled pillow, so it's gonna still keep like like you know what I mean. You pick up a pillow, it's still gonna have kind of a a bump in it until you flip it. Kind of flip it around. Okay, you put it back. Um, 
Oh, you didn't fluff it. You just turned around and put it yes. back. Uh, okay. Um, no, no change. Did I just kill this guy? <laughs> I don't know. Did you? Oh, got it. Uh, Francis Harris. Yeah, you found it. Okay, there he is. He's under the H's. I'm in the dress. Yes, you do. I want to go back upstairs and tell people. Okay, tell them. Um, I found a Francis in his address book. Francis Harris. It's downtown. It's not very far, actually. Yeah. You could walk there in less than 15 minutes, probably. Yep. Totally. Oh, I didn't notice the alarm clock. <laughs> Are we all going there? Oh, I started. Or does some of us want to stay behind in case <laughs> something yeah. happens? It just escapes. Just escapes. You're too busy messing around with this bed. This I mean, we have, we have a tea. Um, we can always come back here. Teacup, spiny, spring, happening. Kind of rotten smelling. Stained. Okay. Yeah, I don't have No. What are you guys doing? Are you wanting to go explore, Griffin? Away! Try and go with this, my ride. <laughs> well, are you telling anyone? You're just going walking out of the house. I, no, no, I, yeah, we were saying we should okay. go check it out. Go talk to, check what out? Uh, the guy. Oh, Francis, yeah, you guys can. There's two vehicles down there. Francis. Um, they're both oh. cat, uh, are they both caddies? Yeah, they're both caddies, oh, they're big cars. Sorry, y'all, there's no room in our, in our vehicle for you. You just gotta walk. It sucks. Sorry, you can ride guys. with us, if it's alright with Miss Susanna. Yeah, well, I gotta take my bike. Tied on back. <laughs> Who's with who? Is it just the two of you and everybody else? <laughs> 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 are you gonna leave before they tie down the bike, or are you gonna no, wait for no, no. Okay, so the two people go downtown. <laughs> uh, it is like there's like a door that opens to steps, which goes up to a couple apartments on the second floor. It's just off Main Street. Um, it's probably about seven o'clock by the time you get there. Uh, apartment B. There's apartment A on your right. Apartment B on the left. It's just a. Uh, that's all there is up there. It's it's a tiny little above the store below those apartments. Knock and knock, knock, knock. Um, there's an a- an average looking man, maybe in his early 30s, late 20s, opens the door. Are we all here? Uh, yeah, I'm assuming everybody went. Um, he looks a little surprised. Seeing a crowd of people outside. Yeah, basically, there he is. Um, he wears glasses. He says, um, uh, can I, can I help you? We are looking for, uh, what's his name? Howard Phillips. <laughs> Howard Phillips. I uh, know Howard, but he doesn't live here. Well, no. Two rest. But he wasn't at home either. All right, are you friends of his? Are we all around this door? Yeah. I'll say <laughs> everybody went up the steps, knocked on the door. There's no room for me to sit in there. I'm like. No, you're not. No, he started I'm talking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak up. I'm gonna say. I have a good friend named Dr. Connor. It says a patient of one of his started writing notes saying he was Howard Phillips living on 66 College Street. We came to check on Howard. Did find him at home though. Oh. He, uh, I, oh, Howard, Howard lives at 66 College Street. It's down by the college, right? Right next to the library? Yes, sir. It yes, is. he he lives there. But, uh... Is there any reason he wouldn't be at home at this hour? I, I don't... I nudged you to get him at home. I don't, I don't know. Um, I, I guess he, he could be out. Maybe he's supping uh, at a restaurant somewhere? I, I honestly don't know. Sir, <clears throat> sir, I'm going to need you to tell me what... Bought in this note. Where'd you get it from? Oh, that's the um, that's the. Uh, there was a a draft. Yes, I wrote this note. This, how did you come by this note? Who are you people? Where'd you get? Is Howard in some kind of trouble? What is it called? Is it called concoction? I guess I should say. Whatever you want to say. Where'd you get the drug? What is the drug? Well, I don't believe it's a drug. Uh, Where did you purchase it? Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? Where are the drugs going? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs>